Okay, so I'm gonna dodge my blow off valve. What you're gonna need is a blow off valve. Uh, you're gonna need uh, some screws. I'm gonna use M6 by 50 screws. Uh, we're gonna use a set screw. It needs to be 1024 by 3 sixteenths. You're gonna need a 1024 uh, NMC tap. Uh, I'm sorry, 1024 NC tap. You're gonna need a 6 mil tap. You're gonna need a 1364 uh, drill bit. For a six mil tap, need a uh, some type of tap holder and tap handle to tap out the holes, and uh, you need a blow off valve gasket to replace the one you're going to take off. A little bit of RTV, make it seal. Uh, center punch for your drill bits, and you're also going to need an 1164 drill bit to uh, drill out these screws. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. So I'm taking my screw here and got it level in uh, my vise, and I've gotten a uh, Center punch. I'm going to take and we'll center punch this screw. You want to get this right in the center. Pretty good. Take your glasses, put them on. Okay, one thing I didn't mention, we're going to also start off with a smaller bit, so like an eighth, uh, eighth inch bit. We're going to start off after center punching the hole, and uh, with the center punch, we'll go ahead and try to run it down a little way, and then we'll go ahead and use a larger bit. Okay, so the drip that I ended up using was a 764 so uh, after checking um you know, the the width of this screw, I found out 764 broke the drill bit, don't push too hard, that's what happened. Anyway, it goes in all the way, so what we'll do is we'll pull that back out. We're going to take this, match it up to about right there. And so you'll notice, uh, I forgot to mention, you'll need a cutoff wheel. You'll need something to cut this with. And we'll just make, very unsafe, but... make a little mark there and that should be about as far in as my drill bit went so we need to cut this off so the the hole went all the way through um, this screw here now that you can see it's got a hole on both sides and uh, now we're gonna drill the blow off valve you're gonna try to drill at an angle right here with a 1360 force you're going to try to intersect this, which is that port right there, and then you're going to thread the bolt in here, and that'll be your new boost source, and we'll block that off. can see here um, we have gone all the way through um, see that drill bit poking through right there so we've gone all the way through now we need to tap this hole up We've got a uh, six mil hole tapped that uh, this will thread into and be our new pressure source. Uh, we have to get a way to stop it from getting uh, air, a boost source from the uh, pipe itself. So what we're going to do is tap this out with a 1024th NC tap, and then we're going to use this plug in the bottom with some JB Weld um, to hold that thing uh, in there real good, nice and tight, and uh, go from there. Another note, you only want to go a turn or a turn and a, maybe a turn, turn and a half uh, is all you want to go with this. And then you want to let the screw tap itself in there the rest of the way um, due to the fact that um, it will hold itself better and allow you 
uh, you know, to make sure it won't come off and get sucked into your motor. So we're going to lightly start that one. For, uh, it started, I'm going to go ahead and turn it upside down so I can keep as many shavings out as I can. And we're going to turn it one full turn right there. I'm just going to back it back out. Take the drill bit and slide it down in your hole so it comes out the other side. When it extrudes out of this other side, you're going to take um, your little set screw and whatever you're using to drive it in, cover your set screw in this as well. Make sure it stays in the hole. Don't want this coming out in your motor. Thank <laughs> you.